Well, you've seen it everywhere these days. High prices at the grocery store and at the gas pump. It seems that there's no relief in sight when it comes to inflation. And now the U.S. Postal Service is even raising their prices. News 6's Amanda Castro shows us why. Snail mail is going to cost you more. Starting today, the United States Postal Service is raising the price of postage. A first class mail forever stamp now costs 60 cents to buy. That's up two cents per stamp. The prices for domestic postcards and sending an international letter are also going up. USPS says the reason for the price hike? Inflation and increased operating expenses. To move uh, letters and packages around uh, requires a you know, tremendous amount of fuel. Uh, and so, you know, filling up all those tractor trailers and, and uh, you know, mail, mail trucks and uh, planes to, to, to move these uh, parcels and letters around uh, has gotten extremely expensive uh, with the price of gas and diesel fuel. Dr. Sean Snaith is the director of economic forecasting at UCF's College of Business. He says the post office is just the latest victim of record high inflation and labor market issues. As we continue to see high prices for gas, food and services, Dr. Snaith says we're likely on the brink of recession. I don't think it will be a deep one, uh, nothing like 2020 and certainly nothing like uh, 2008, 2009, uh, though I do think it could last a year or, or more. He says as the Fed works to bring down high inflation, the trade off is unemployment rates will rise and people could lose their jobs. But Dr. Snaith says 11 million job openings across the country could cushion the blow. Well, I think you know businesses can tighten uh, just by eliminating opening uh, before they have to get to the more difficult uh, you know decisions about layoffs. He adds there will be some pain in a recession, but it's the price we have to pay to restore the economy. In some ways, this will be the bitter medicine that's going to cure some of these economic ailments that that we've been facing, like high inflation, high uh, gasoline prices, labor market issues, the supply chain uh, will be able to heal uh, as the economy goes into this recession and slows down. Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.